Hello students, hope you all are doing well. Now it is time to study the second block of SST, Work and Play. In this chapter, we will list the sum work done by family members at home and describe the importance of sharing work at home. So let's start with a question. Do you like to do household work? Who does all the housework in your family? Your mama? How do you and other members share your mama's work? What do you feel about it? Students, doing housework is a part of our life. A lot of people doesn't enjoy doing it, but we need to do them. Yes, some family hire other people to help them in their housework while some family do by themselves. Now let's read about the Diaz family and learn different types of job each member do in her family. Diaz's mother is the first one who wake up in the morning and takes out the garbage from the house. She makes milk and tea for everyone and wakes up Deepak and Dia. Both Dia and Deepak get ready for the school. Their mother makes a breakfast and tiffin. Their father gets a milk from the milk booth. Grandpa waters the plant and takes Dia and Deepak to the bus stop. He also tells them a story when they eat. Deepak and Dia complete their homework by themselves. Parents come back at 6 pm. Dia's mother makes dinner and Papa comes out to play with them. Dia always at the table for dinner and Deepak helps to clean it after the dinner. Then sometimes they both watch television with their grandmother after dinner. Their mother switches off the light at night when they go to the bed. That was all about their family routine. So students, what did this family do to help each other? Is it okay for the mother to do all the work? See, what we learn through this story is everyone in the story do work each day. At dinner time, Dia sets the table and Deepak helps to clean it. Both of them get dressed and do their homework by their own. Grandpa waters a plant. Grandma makes us snacks for them. Mama does a lot of work in kitchen. Papa gets the milk in the morning and play with Dia and Deepak. Students, we do different kinds of work at home such as cleaning rooms, washing dishes, cooking, watering plants, washing clothes and buying grocery and etc etc. Some work need to be done daily but some work just once or twice a week. For example, we cook food daily but clean the fridge maybe once a week. Yes, students, there are lots of work that has to be done in a house. So everyone must share some work and help in completing the housework even if we don't like to do them much. Is it clear students? Now I have a question for you to think. What happens if work is not done in the house? Think about it. See, when work is not done, it makes the house dirty and disordered. Okay, is it clear? Now, after the video, make the list how much time do you spend doing things to help in your house every day because it is very important to do. You may help in making beds, keeping toys and books at their right place. There are many tasks that need to be done at and it our responsibility to do them all. For example, if we do not clean our table after study every day, it will look dirty and we will lose our things. So, it must be clear that there are lots of work to do in a house. One person can't do all the work on his or her own. Completing household work needs everyone help in the family. This would be possible if everybody share the work. A child is a part of a family too. Yes, you are also a part of your family. So, he or should must help the elders. Okay, is it clear students? So, this was all about this topic. And if you have any doubt related to this topic, you can ask me question on WhatsApp. Okay, thank you students.